Welcome back to Every Other Carl. I'm Carl, and today I'm working on my garage. So I recently got a new house, and it has a proper two-car garage. There's two bays entering into my gabled garage. So it's tall right in the middle of the building. Today I am starting on a project that's gonna take a while, but this is gonna be part one of my garage build. So as you can see, my garage currently looks terrible. I moved in about four months ago, my parents moved in downstairs about two months ago. Most of our stuff ended up just getting thrown into the garage during the move, and it's still there. So my initial job here is to come up with an organization plan and a layout. Besides being a garage, it's really important for me to have a creative space in here. So I have a lot of stuff in here that needs to find a home. Um, some of it is more long, longer term storage, things like holiday decorations that you only need once a year, maybe some old memorabilia that's just gonna stay in a bin for a long time. I wanna be able to tuck that stuff out of the way and also have quicker access to things that I might use infrequently, maybe some hobbies that I only touch on every once in a while. I also wanna have that creative space. I wanna have a small workshop. I wanna have maybe a space for a small gym setup and a completely open bay for uh, my cars that I can bring in here and work on when it's cold out. I was a little bit overwhelmed at first, but I decided to start in this particularly ugly corner of the garage, mostly just to get some momentum going for the organization process. I also decided that this would be where I would store my tools, and organizing those first meant that they'd be easier to find as I built out the rest of the garage. Next up was this plywood closet that the previous owner built. At first I was going to take it apart, but I decided that it's actually pretty useful to me at the moment, and it's surprisingly well built. A little scraping and painting goes a long way. I painted the hardware black for a bit of a farmhouse look. The next day I decided to start attacking the other side of the garage. The first thing I knew I needed was more light. I found these great 3-foot plug-and-play LED shop lights at Home Depot for $22 each. With just an extension cord and a couple screws, the lights were up. Now it was time for some storage. The previous owner had suspended a piece of plywood over this garage bay. It wasn't screwed in or anything, so I had to take it down before it fell on me. After what was probably 45 minutes of staring and 5 minutes of measuring, I had a plan for my first suspended shelving area. I reinforced this ceiling joist so it could handle some extra weight, and then built a shelf platform with 3 quarter inch OSB plywood ripped down the middle. This gave me a very strong 24 inch wide shelf that ran the length of the garage, perfect for long term storage. Now it was time to replace that old suspended piece of plywood with a much sturdier shelf. I found that a suspended shelf like this, right near the middle gabled eave of the garage, really maximized my storage capability. My garage ceiling is just about 12 feet at the peak. My shelf platform was right near 9 feet, and I pushed it back slightly towards the back of the garage to allow for a larger opening to the front of the platform. This lets me get boxes on and off the platform more easily. Next, I started my sporting goods storage. I decided to hang my road and mountain bikes vertically from bike hooks. This made each bike equally easy to get down. I hung them sideways so they would tuck in as close to the wall as possible. This meant that I had to build wooden blocks for the bottom wheels to lean into so they would hang straight. I also set up a bike hoist that I got at Harbor Freight for $10 for my mom's bike. This makes it easy for her to get her cruiser up and down. Alright, so clearly I've been doing a lot of work in here, a lot of organizing, and this is kind of the state that I find myself in right now. Let me show you around. Clearly a lot of what looks like clutter. I do have my storage going up, up top there in the loft. Um, slowly starting to decide what goes where that's like the whole tool world over there this is kind of the hobby sports world this is more long-term storage this is slightly more short-term storage this is going to be the open bay for the car to come in and out of um i think what i want to do now i just temporarily put all my larger panels over here i want to make a nice spot where i can store uh, panels of wood or drywall or uh, like some of that extra pegboard that I don't need. All that pegboard was put up by the previous owner. Um, I want to be able to tuck that away in a nice spot. And what I've decided or come up with is I'm going to 
actually put it behind this utility shelf. I'm gonna make kind of a, a fake wall. Move this utility shelf out a little bit. Put a panel on the back of the shelf so it has backing. And then I'm gonna have a nice slot behind it where I can put all my larger pieces of wood. Um, also, I'm not sure if I love it, but uh, I like the previous owner had these kind of hooks here and I can store all my two by fours up there pretty neatly. So uh, for now, I'm gonna leave that there and this whole area will be like wood storage. After a little drywall repair and some paint, I shifted this heavy utility shelf forward about a foot and zip tied some pegboard to the back to create sort of a fake wall. This gave me a nice hidden slot for large panel storage. All right, I'm pretty happy with this solution. I got all my wood nicely tucked away and I only lost about a foot of floor space. Pretty happy with that. Um, ended up putting some of that thick pegboard that was on the wall and I zip tied it to my shelf here. And that was kind of a moment of genius. I was trying to actually put some self-tapping screws into the shelf itself, but zip tie is just so much better. So that is my solution. And from over here, kind of don't even notice that it's not leaning up against the wall. Pretty happy with that. The last thing I did this night was to move an old bookcase to the other side of the bay. I built a little platform for it so it could tuck in tight to the wall and still allow me to pull a car in. All right, so I have the bookshelf in the place that I want it now. Uh, I've got to clean up this wall a little bit. It's a little tattered down there. But I now have the full width of the garage bay open so that I can pull the car in here and work on it if I want to. Uh, but yeah, let's uh, look around at the progress. Looks like a complete mess. But this is actually quite a bit of progress for me. And I'm feeling pretty good. So just to recap, got the heavy duty long-term storage up in the, the gable there, up to the top. We got this nice platform here with a little bit shorter term storage. Nice big utility shelf here with storage space for big panels of wood and drywall and etc. All the sporting equipment is nicely tucked away. Got a little bungee system here for the skis and poles and snowboard. Hangers up there for different items. Uh, bike section is hanging here. Going to have some shelves there for bike supplies and other sporting supplies. And then over here, starting to uh, get a handle of the tool situation. Kind of uh, supply storage there, tool storage. And uh, this is kind of extra clothing storage, but I'm not really sure what to do with this big homemade closet yet. And then in the middle is going to be the whole kind of gym section. I have some of this uh, puzzle piece foam uh, padding that I'm going to put down. Maybe if I get to it, I can hang uh, like a heavy bag right down the middle here. Some kind of punching bag and uh, get some good workouts on that. Uh, but for now, I am really tired. I have been going at this for so many hours now. Uh, I know it looks like a complete mess. I'm almost a little bit embarrassed to show this, but this is just part one. Part two, I promise, will look a heck of a lot better. All right, I eventually went to sleep last night, had uh, enough of working in here, but now it is time for some massive organization. I think I have all the spaces I need to store things. I have uh, the vision in mind of where things are going to go. I'm going to clean up. moment for me. Being able to pull my truck in without having to move any bikes or anything was a great accomplishment. 
All right, I'm really happy with how this turned out. I think that's gonna finish phase one of the build. I feel like right now there's like a baseline. Everything is well organized. I know where things go. Uh, if I have to throw something in here real quick, there's a place to throw it. Um, and tools are organized. I can find things. Just there's space to breathe. Also, I can bring the truck in. I can bring cars in here and work on them. So that is, uh, that's pretty awesome for me. Uh, especially since winter is coming and um, I might be doing some things in the cold weather. So a couple of things that I, I want to add pretty soon. I want to get a, I want to build a workbench that's going to go right in this spot. Um, and I already have the wood for that. So that video is coming soon. Um, also, I want to do some beautification in here. I think uh, everything is like functional, but there's um, some painting that could be done. Maybe some shelving, maybe some decoration. So just want to really make this a personal, personalized space. But that's going to do it for phase one. I really appreciate you watching the video. Um, if you like the video, like the video. If you have some ideas for some cool stuff I can do in this garage, let me know in the comments section. I would really appreciate it if you subscribed. I'm right, hovering right near the 500 subscriber mark, so that's a big milestone. But until the next video, I'm every other Carl, and I'll see you.